All right, day five. Let's go. So we're playing as Chef Rosalina. Pretty, what a base character skin, you know? She can cook up some... I have absolutely no idea. It doesn't really matter. Just cook something, bitch. Not for real, though. That is a... Uh, that's a nice costume. Like, these skins uh, should totally come to 8, you know? 8 Deluxe, I guess, right? That'd be cool. Because they already got, like, Yoshis and Birdos and... Uh, certain characters have skins or alternates, like Link has an alternate costume and, uh, and whatnot. I'm pretty sure Villager does too, don't they? So it's like, it's not like it's unprecedented to have alternate costumes and colors in the menus and Mario Kart just in general, right? So, uh, it would just make sense to bring all these costumes, or at least, like, they can have nine of them, right? So, like, this or eight other costumes, nine including the standard person, or char standard character design. Um, that's how the grid lays out. And they could even kind of low-key expand it if they wanted to take more work, but what they got, the foundation they have now, they could add eight other skins, and most characters have, uh, you know, I don't know if they have, I don't know if all of them have eight or more. Mm. But I think most characters have at least a few. So even if it doesn't fill all eight, who cares? But I'm sure they all have eight. Or at least close to it, whatever, it doesn't matter. But that'd be cool to see these Tor skins uh, in eight because they're actually one of the cool things Tor does. One of the few cool things Tor does. <clears throat> there's some new stuff. I guess there's no coin challenge today, unfortunately. I mean, I could try grinding out my score there. Um, might as well check out the shop real quick. Nothing too interesting. I'm not gonna buy any token shit yet. Oh, of course I have to buy a ticket. That's good. And, oh, gotcha. I gotta get this to level 8, man. I'm telling you. Um... Quick ticket. I'm running out of quick tickets though, unfortunately. Yeah, it doesn't look like uh, that's very interesting. What's multiplayer today, anyway? Yeah, lame. Alright, well, how shells only? Oh, there, I was going to do some battle. No way am I doing that. How about I, how about I just do some standard uh, tour races, like, offline? Let's just keep it simple, huh? How about that? Let's play as PD in this little... I don't even know what this is called, but it's a dessert cart. Maroons or something? I don't know. Might as well just be cupcakes and shit, I don't know. Oh boy, yeah, I gotta... Can I steer right? This is, I feel like this is turning sharper than normal. I don't know, I don't know like the nerd emoji stats on the carts in this game. I don't even know it for 8, really. Like I kinda, I know kinda what meta is, current meta is, and that's about it. Like I watched a like a five minute video on what meta is in 8 and I just kind of use those because fuck it. Like if I'm playing online, people are just going to use meta anyway. And it's hard to get much better at Mario Kart than just having the win handed to you by being able to go faster than everybody, right? It's like whatever, dude. What a joke of a game. All these kart combinations and only like a few are actually any good. And then there's the RNG of the items that roll out, you know. Like, that's why I don't understand sweating in Mario Kart. It's too much random shit, you know. To sweat and stress about, you know. I don't know. Just never been something I'm interested in doing. And, uh... Same thing with, like... 
All right, well, I'm not even, that's just off topic, so never mind. Oh man, here, oh, another wonderful bonus challenge. How exciting. My balloon will pop, oh my God. Now, so this challenge specifically actually used to be very difficult when the game first came out because you didn't have the steering option. So you had to like do this, right? And so that actually did make it a little difficult. Um, actually very, like it was a pain in the ass. Plus, you know, the game was new and kind of figuring out how it all controls and just everything. You know, it's even though it's very simple, it's just when it's brand new, you know, and fresh, it's like, damn. But also, again, like the less, the le you had less control, so. But uh, yeah, so it's like this game honestly came out just like unfinished, dude. Like, there, I, it's just inexcusable. No steering option, like. No, no online play with real people, no, just nothing really, just this, it was cool, and I, like, I was actually addicted to it pretty much, like, I was playing it pretty hard, you know, when it first came out, and I've honestly, I've been playing it for the last, like, month or two or whatever, like, straight, like, I've been playing at least a little bit every day, you know, so it's like, I, I've, been, I've been back on my tour grind for sure. And this be, it's just fun. Like honestly, I like Tor. I don't I don't give a fuck what anybody says. The game is fun. Like not only is there like a mindless distraction, but like if you really want something like kinda interesting to do and like it's just more chill, then you just pop your phone open and you go for high combo, you know? go for a high combo and try to get the high score and rank up in the rank cup which starts getting pretty hard uh, when you get 30 tier 35 and above people start getting really good at getting non-stop combos and having the top tier shit and blah 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 and frenzies so like you know there's a little, a little bit of luck involved with you know obviously if you get frenzies and stuff but also just your skill learning these tracks and learning where you can drift and the right cards and setups and stuff. You know, like it's nothing crazy, alright? But like, it's a lot of fun, you know, if you get really into the combo game. That's that's the thing I always say about Tor. But if you're not someone that's into like, watching the big number go up and, you know, big number combo go brr, you know, then yeah, you're not going to really care for this game. And you might just have it as a cute mindless distraction once in a while and oh goofy uh, Mario characters you know Mario Kart it's like I get it and that's also I mean that's another appeal is this is a free game officially like by Nintendo right it's Mario Kart and then they didn't put ads in it or anything like cancerous like the only thing bad about it is the monetization uh, is basically pay to win and it's the prices are absurd but you know, aside from that, the game is pretty good. That was pretty atrocious. How did I? I mean, I was doing really bad. Not even gonna cap. Not even gonna cap. All right, point boost, tickets. Oh man, uh, let's buy, I think we can buy a pipe, can't we? Yeah, I'll do it, pipe it up. Uh, I'll call it early today. Oh, gold ticket, hey, look at that. I'll even buy some coins for the road, almost done with the coins. And you know why we're at it? Um, I might as well use some tickets. See what I see what I can upgrade. Bow can I upgrade you, bro? No. Do I do I want to upgrade Bowser more, or do I want like someone else? Like Waluigi, right? Because that's a character I like more, but I kind of want to see higher number, you know. <laughs> 
All right, standard card. I don't think I have any cards like in contention for being leveled up. I guess it's cheap, cheap one. Sure, why not? All right, any bait? Any of these? Uh, I, this one's been coming up a lot, but I only have one ticket, so. What else has been coming up a lot? The bomb one, maybe. Uh, what's been coming up like a lot, a lot? Uh, this this pixel one sort of been coming up. Sometimes it's better, you know. Here's a, here's here's a cool thing I do. Uh, sometimes it's easier to just, you know, go and pick the character and cart that you need to use. And then yeah, see, like upgrade it just from here, directly from here. So you don't have to like remember, oh shit, who was good in that one track that I need on the cup. Just just go through here and, and do it all as you want. But then you gotta really think like, do I wanna use my tickets here or would it be, you know, do I have a better chance in one of these, these other uh, tracks to do it? See, so like maybe, you know, see, like maybe I can upgrade this some more. And that makes more sense. You know, and, and then look, now I'm at the maximum level. And then I need to raise it with a ticket, which I do have. And so, but but you can't raise it and un, or uncap it without hitting the cap in the first place. So like, you know, it's like, it's this whole thing. And this gameplay loop is pretty, it's pretty satisfying, right? Like. I'm not gonna sit here and deny that. And like, oh shit, I, I don't even have enough. But you know, this is this is all this is what I'll do. And I'm not even a good tour player. Like, I can't even get non-stop combos, but because I don't really grind this shit out, I really don't. But like, see here, like this one is one I need to really point, boost the points because it, I mean, this makes all the difference. Yeah, I should probably even raise its level. Yeah, like I will. There, boom, done. Go ahead and upgrade this one more. I'll just throw the rest of my tickets in here and we'll call it a day. And there it is. And I'm gonna get off that Yoshi one. Here, which one did I have that's new? Here, oh, Toad here, we'll beat Toad up. Yeah. Except I'm not going to play because it sucks ass. All right. So, I mean, there you go. Um, damn. Not much to buy. I guess I could buy another one of these. Actually, I'll buy both. And uh, I'll actually go ahead and use them immediately hold up I'm gonna just keep pumping them into here 15 we're getting there all right well I'm done for today